Hey guys, Matt from Collectibles and that, and uh, got a random video for you today. We're going to do a little toy venture, see what uh, cool collectibles I could find out and about. This might turn into a whole weekend excursion because while Googling, uh, you know, comic stores and collectible stores around my area, found a, a good bit of them. Only plan on tackling a couple of them. Distance wise, burn a lot of fuel. Uh, gas is expensive. Let me know down in the comments if you like toy hunt videos, um, if you want me to do more of them. Uh, maybe tackle them more in depth instead of just going to a bunch, showcasing the whole store, you know, as a whole, instead of just like showing clips from uh, these stores. Yeah, just uh, collectible hunting, trying to find some things that I need and want. Yeah, let's get this uh, toy venture underway first stop was walgreens not only for a delicious energy drink to get me going but uh yeah they also have action figures and other little hidden collectibles of course pop figures and transformer stuff and power rangers the lightning collection that i'm looking for lots of transformer stuff if you're looking for that star wars and those and lots of wrestlers. There was a couple back there. Cool avatar figures. End up picking up the uh, lightning collection guys. Of course. Because I need them. Slash one. And I also picked up the last remaining packs of Marvel Studio minifigures. Because why not? Next stop was my local comic book shop, Phantom of the Attic. Of course, it wouldn't be a collectible store without pop figures. A lot of ones I hadn't seen before kind of fell out of the pop figures, but there's a lot I'm looking for. Thought he was cool. Tons of them. Love the Star Wars ones. Tons of graphic novels and artists' work, which I thought was cool selling artists' work out of there. Tons of DD, &D, and they also play there. Really awesome store. Lots of comic books if you're really looking. Just lots of cool stuff. Hero Crit stuff. Lots of tabletop. Very tabletop oriented place. And then I started finding these little gems, stuff in these uh, comic book sleeves, right? And some pogs and all kinds of stuff. Found these, did not come home with me. Cool Power Ranger watch. Both Red Ranger. I believe I had one as a child, I'm not too sure. I think so. Lots of figures. Tons of Marvel, more Lightning Collection, Jaws, so much X-Men stuff. It was cool. Then I had the mother load in action figures in these uh, like comic sleeves they do. It. Just tons of loose figures, found some really cool stuff. Joker there, Beetleborg, who remembers Beetleborgs? So cool. Yeah, they had so many of these bins. They had a whole bunch up front that I didn't see until I was already uh, about to ring out. So I didn't videotape. But uh, yeah, they had like 12 plus milk crates like this full of just loose figures. Older stuff to newer stuff. Just everything. Like Tigers or... Justice guys. All the walk. There's so much walk. Little cases. More pops, of course. Anime figures. I said tons of comics. So if you look old or new, you're bound to find it in this. Look at it. Just a sea of comics. It was awesome. Next was New Dimension Comics. Very cool store. Definitely plan on going back here. So much stuff. So much. Dragon Ball, Power Rangers. 
old and new inbox stuff. Busters and Star Wars. It was a mishmash of just old and new. Power of Force from the Black Series. Just some wall to wall comics in this place, too. Farland, Ghostbusters. It was definitely a mix, too. There was a uh, killing my OCD. Marvel Select, just everything from Avengers to Spider-Man, older Spider-Man figures, like I said, complete mismatch. You have to go back and just take like two hours to stare at everything. It was just incredible. So the haul from Phantom first was uh, pretty much all Power Rangers. <laughs> Trying to build the uh, collection from my youth again, slowly but surely. And then this cool Joker. And then from New Dimension, I got more of these minifigs. Was bummed I didn't find Red Ranger at Phantom, but uh, man, fate has a way of working out and was able to find Red Ranger, Bandai brand. Man, those were cool as kids. Was basically able to finish the set I had as a kid. Like this is literally each one I had, which was awesome. Also went to Target, did not record in there. Always weird about doing so, that's just me. But was able to find NECA, Gargoyles, Goliath. They definitely seem to have a lot of their toy stock back in, so folks, go to Target and check it out. They got some good stuff there. Look at him, he's awesome. So a little bonus at the end, I figured I was going to open these up. I bought the last three they had at Walgreens. First one was the Scarlet Witch from WandaVision. Really cool minifig. And since I have absolutely no luck, uh, yeah, two out of three packs were the same. Darn tootin'. My luck, my luck. But at least I was able to pull Spidey with... The Doctor Strange cape from Marvel Zombies. Which is a pretty awesome episode. And he is a pretty cool minifigure. All his web and yeah. Awesome. And there they go. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, good little toy venture. I guess I would rather like to go back to these and do a full in-depth let me know down in the comments if you would like to see that, like a like a total deep dive, like just a video about these places. Um, I just kind of went out for my own collecting uh, pleasures, if you will. Yeah, I found some cool stuff at these places. Yeah, let me know down in the comments if, uh, you know, you want to see some more toy hunts and uh, what else you'd like to see. Uh, so I uh, hope you enjoyed and uh, hopefully catch you in the next one and uh, be safe and big love. Peace out.